So we're looking at Sam's Amusement Park again with the same inverse demand for peak pricing and the same inverse demand for off-peak pricing. But now suppose the marginal cost of a seat below the park's capacity is $4.82 and the cost of an additional unit of capacity is $13.88. If Sam charges optimal peak and off-peak prices, how much profit does he make? So we're going to start off the same way by writing our profit during our peak period. And the profit during our peak period not only has the marginal cost of a seat below capacity, but also that additional cost of an additional unit of capacity. We do this derivative, we set it equal to zero, and we solve for our quantity during a peak period to be equal to 2.6. Likewise, we're going to do the same process for off-peak period, remembering not to add that additional unit of capacity cost. And when we take the derivative of this, setting it equal to zero, and solving, we find that our quantity during our off-peak is 13.18. So again, we have to make sure that we found what we found makes sense. And in this case, it doesn't, because we're supposed to find that QP is greater than QO. However, we find that QP is 2.6. It's less than QO, which is 13.18. So the constraint is broken. So what we, what we found doesn't make sense. We need to start over from the top and make sure and solve it this a different way. When we find that the quantity in off-peak is greater than the quantity in the peak period, we need to write out the entire profit function and substitute just Q in for both QP and QO. So let's write out that whole profit function. Notice that this is the total revenue during the peak period minus the total cost during the peak period plus the total revenue during the off-peak period minus the total cost. But now we've just gotten rid of those subscripts and we only see Q. We can take the derivative of this with respect to just Q, and we're going to set that derivative equal to zero to maximize profits, of course, and we combine like terms, and we find that our optimal quantity, when these two things are just averaged, is 9.65 units. Now that we've found our optimal quantity, we can solve for profit by simply plugging in Q everywhere you see it.